Oh, oh, give me a moment. So, okay, now this one over there. Sorry about that. Not the cop. My goodness, my voice is down. It's a little different. Part of it is changing settings. Part of it is what I could have moved. Different area, different acoustics, different everything close to the mic. Sorry, you hear that moving, unfortunately. That's the other side effect. I'm in a proper chair now, not just sitting on a bed. Which means. Uh, one thing, I'm going to take semi-regular breaks for this thing, because it's like, yeah. Just to get it to stretch, it's nowhere near as comfortable as the thing I was thinking of before, but trade-offs, you know? Also, this controls a little better, because I'm much better. Uh... Also supplies to the camera. So tracking has improved because of that. Uh, but yeah, you will be hearing little squeaks and shit. Just from me moving around. Also because uh <laughs> different setup with the keyboard and mouse than from where I was before. Yeah. You know, actual desk and shit. Other than sitting on my lap. I have been playing this offline some. Mind you. Uh, oh. Getting some stuff done. Uh, I managed to get up my uh, Aether Pool in House of the Dead, but... Yeah. Also managed to level up my uh, leather worker and get to, to level twenty thermometers. Uh, I was ice maging it, by the way. I you, you shouldn't be surprising. I did say, "Oh, why would I use fire? I just use ice." Maybe at like lowest level, that's acceptable. But you really should use fire. It really does do more damage. Some reason I misunderstood it and thought ice, umbral ice, also increased the power of ice stuff, but no, it just increases the speed you reach it. So it's about switching. I have a little practice with that, but I've only done that, done that one dungeon so far. Got to level 24, though. We are, uh, what am I? Also, apparently there's, uh, no wait, no, I realized that beforehand and I just kind of, uh, I was like, I was like, there's more, uh, there's in this game than I, but now, or wait, no, that was literally on the screen. I just forgot I realized that. Uh, yeah, so as it says today, uh, even though the there's apparently a 16 event, uh, I'm going to be focusing on doing a... Uh, that's probably it right there. I'm probably going to leave that to the B for a week or two. Instead, the first thing I'm going to go do is... I kill you and make you die. Ah. Wrestler smack to talk, uh. You didn't give a kick out of that. Okay, no. Just. Very goofy smack talk, little moment I just stumbled across the background. Uh. 
right, right. Okay, yeah. This should also help the whole sometimes hard to understand line read that I do, which I'm ecstatic for. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start off by doing, uh, at very least, turning in this mission and starting the next one. Actually, hold on. Oh, Weaver. I should, uh... Oh, yeah, I should deal with these things that are clogging my... Ah, I'll do it eventually. Where is the... Oh, okay, right, yeah, it has to be in here, it has to be in here. Like, I'm at, for, pretty sure that this stuff is some of the rare few bits of gear I... Really? Only the amateur at the moment? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can repair above 200%. Oh, well. Yeah, things I unlocked. Uh, I believe I got this before I was out. Thunder, which is... Uh, one of the very few dots remaining. Some people apparently think that the, the, those are thing. That's a good thing. I don't you know. But I like having. I like damage over time effect and things. So like. Oh yeah, I've also managed to get up some cash via doing Ixel jobs here and there, and also you know dungeon run because yeah, that actually does get me cash. I forgot about that. Been so fucking long since I've done, done dungeons that gave me cash. Uh, the transpose, which lets me instantly swap between umbral fire and ice. Uh, it, it knocks me down to one though. I'm now at two crystals, which means the if the uh, amount of power I'm getting from this goes up, but the cost of it goes up too. Uh, whereas here. It regions near instantly, and then I just transpose back, fire off a, a quick fire spell. The uh, area effect spells I got, they're not super duper strong, but you know, uh, they're good for groups at least. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Area effects are always weaker in this game. I just didn't think about that uh, when it came to mages. This is, yeah, you know, the debuff. Sleep. Sometimes useful. It's a bit AOE, so. <laughs> Slap a big group, knock some of them out, and all the rest of us are uh, whacking away at everything else. Swift cast. Instantly casting a spell. Very useful for skipping the fucking timers. Uh. I have not had to use that yet. This work, this does it on its own well enough. Yeah, it probably would be good to activate that while I was do doing fire spells. It might smit let me squeeze that a little more. Personally, I like having effects I can just set on an enemy and then do, do normal damage. Make things less finicky, and I don't always like the finick. Yes. Great hall hall of motion. So they mystery the magic. Yes, he's a material. Oh no, not for us. We couldn't kill us how loud you are. Free to mine you see. She's very strict about excessive noise. I don't see this priestess anywhere. Hmm? Give me my statue. You are obviously not some plant sorcerer with the Solomon's. And scrawl sneeze upon your face as demon blooding. Ha! Ah, so. Solomon's asleep then. The universe name for a spell. However, some of this has been legal aliens, I suppose that is what most friends are to have in mind. Yes, cast without any my courage, colleagues, drawn to rumors of desire of dire and deadly destruction. <laughs> Oh, my. There we go. 
Oh, right, cool, cool. We never talked to Goliath. I never actually probably talked to them. Properly talked to them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Even sounds like a mage who's utterly been Christian for fun. Sorry, I formally welcome you to the Brotherhood of Summiturges. I really need to get my home logs properly, but eh. It, I know it's weird to not want to level me up early, but you know, like. If I get, like, ninja to 70, uh. Well, before I get, even start Heaven's Sword, all that XP I'd get from those quests would be wasted. Eh, it bothers me. Remember this trial with a gauge of capacity for willing thaumaturgy, and an innate quality that limits which are bound by the level of etheric energy flowing for your physical being. Hey, so the very stuff of life exists within all creatures to greater or lesser extent or less. I must be Nicola, Manipulation. As your experience grows, so shall you reserve thaumaturgical endurance. Your magical might might as well also swell in response to moments of extreme terror and duress. Well, so the amount actually did go up eventually. I haven't seen it yet. I think you create a challenge for the next crave the thrill of exquisite fear. So you shall know the time has come for you to visit me once more. <laughs> I think we should draw you further than the th I'm gonna do one this one quest and then we're gonna go back to Palace of the Dead and start up a wait. Guildmaster Kokuruki wishes to draw you further into the abyss of Samaturgy secrets. <laughs> your burgeoning power is strained against the confines of your un untried mortal shell. Another trial you must have. That's the worst. You, your task challenges will be shaped by the teachings found within Samaturgy, the yawning of best tome pinned by a renowned Samaturg, so am I, yeah. There's she have not once said the bitter draw to defeat. So that's you on the vital lesson to take a lean from the fate for extensive chapters that compromise the six's employ work. Shall you learn about the threats from which that that was which a practitioner art must contend? That is a threat of intimacy followed with an Coco Boy by goes review. I think that one's so averse to being approached to teach you the wisdom of being covered therein. Yeah, I do not remember this part of the quest line. <laughs> I remember some of this quest line. That's true of a, a lot of these, but there's also lots of details I don't remember. Alright, bye, go. Gah! Ah, yes, Haru. I've been tricking you. Allow me to read you, you, to you the permanent match in the opening chapter. Oh, I really need to go out there. Yeah. Learning passage, the opening chapter is a matter that. And they, oh, uh, how many of the power we build. Roaring flames, piercing ice, and shocking bolts are matched not by fist or sword or spear, but by the burly warrior. War Wax is fearsome with every clothing step. Fish shatter bone, fades slight yeah, I that hard way. But it's slight from flesh, fierce puncture, soft bellies, know you this threat and stand you apart from such men. Let it have three eyes. Keep your distance from your foes. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. The agony of being hit or stabbed or worse, the devil of time fleeting in incantation with any flying of into your person. That's why so much urge. Always strike so far, the farther the better. That's pretty much I'll take this ride fish and head down to the vicinity of Silver Bazaar. Simply draw back to a couple distance and wait for a vulture to swoop in to feed. That's when you ambush the nasty creature with a barrage of deadly spells. Once you find the scavenger, be sure to retrieve a generous slice of milk meat from Sahano. You might just connect us so long as we'll switch up. So long as he's properly compensated. Yes, sir. We pay him in sorcery blasted bird flesh. <laughs> I don't feel like I read that line. Yes, Haru, we pay him in sorcery blasted bird flesh. Okay. Yeah, I learned that the hard way will, uh, offspring grind it. I absolutely, uh, picked some fights with stuff I shouldn't, and got my. Well, I shouldn't have from close up. Well, I 
did use this on screen. I just ran up to things like I usually do. I, yeah, it should have been obvious, you know. Maintain distance. Ah, you know, I never fucking noticed the little balls of energy floating around me. I wasn't actually paying attention to that. Let's see how good lucid dreaming is. Alright, yeah, that could extend my casting time a bit. Well. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, hey, I feel a giant turtle. Turtles. The beat. If we have to worry about line of sight. Wait, what? Fuck, I wasted. I, I was gonna say a wasted transpose, but uh Also I've learned hard these thing these potions are not all that they're cracked up to be I, I, I they got me killed more times when I was doing uh, Palace of the Dead than they helped. Earlier early on they gave me the edge, but now they think they're getting the way, so I was Dreams. I did, did took up freaking ah, is that and it turns out it sucks. So he did a long side on side on that makes the order of this long dead wave can that much more unbearable. So with uh, Hyrule Warriors 2 finished, I'm going to be starting up <laughs> uh, Star Fox uh, this Friday, uh, and I'm probably finishing it, and I'm thinking A Link to the Past. When we start next week. We're gonna, by the way, keep, uh, go back to doing three of these a week for a while. You're not making use of my testing grounds, are you? Cough up the feed then. Oh, hey, Fafano! Can't see you through the person standing on top of you, but I remember you. Tender white meat super sautés. Tastes remarkably like chocobo. <laughs> I thought they thought meat pummeled with one time with really nah, nice doing with you, Sama Surge. I mean, yeah, Chris, these days Sama Surge has to make this man just play the guild trial. Ah, Master Recommends, we're making that to our bizarre this fine evening. Hey, you're just a piece of culture. We are not idea how many of these scepter willing sorcerers end up slice through inside the town. Sort of flesh I have taste for, you understand. My brothers, not again! Well, what that's about? Yes, I understand what that's about. I obviously a, a reoccurring character there. I 
should have kept the shields. I, it's, I honestly did not think shields were uh, something that mattered to any class that wasn't freaking paladin. I, I really should have looked. I just automatically tilted them out. Great story I never told. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I know what that is, and we're just gonna ignore it for now. I also want to do other quests and such, but that'll happen. But I'm primarily focused on uh, doing the freaking Palace of the Dead. It's got a good story to it, it just fucking takes forever. As a reminder, right now all we've got is this mysterious looming uh, lady in a really nice outfit. Uh, with this little winged head thing on her shoulder. Uh, what you might have missed is I bought a lot of, uh, a couple of, uh, NPC adventurers who, uh, that are having a sorcelled, apparently. Oh, that's who my main is. Seek the flavor that I tell, arbiter of this afterlife. I'll abide by thoughts on how a patient of our existence seems to have led lives of richer future for sure rewarded it was greater comfort for their eternal souls since they're making a donation enhancing your future just ensuring a golden paradise for your time in this in the realm beyond ah uh ah -huh. uh -huh. fucking old ah uh. Uh, what was I fucking talking about? Uh, get distracted by that, and then my brain apparently uh, just deleted that entire conversation. Palace of the, oh right, yeah, Palace of the Dead. Uh, yeah, not much past that, but like, you only you only get a couple of big cutscenes, so. Uh, but yeah, adventures. Uh, very much implied that they might actually just be dead, and being, uh, the whole last words before they're put back in the ground. Yeah, I was used to, uh, every, uh, to, to melee classes, and so I got, I thought that we got too close. Ah, ah, welcome back, Haru. We seem to have done well. Both sides intact. Face appears unshredded. It really is the most terrible feeling to have one's casting shredded by a heinous injury. Hmm. It's one of the easier trials, you ask me. Keep well away from the pointy, slashy best if you want to reach the end of an arcane entrance. That's just common sense. I mean, the problem is whenever you're finding something your peer. It's really just getting the first couple blasts off. Fortune's favors the fighter who flings fire from afar. Simply the love of the look of loathing leveled at me by the distant duelist just to find my deadly downpour. <laughs> we thaumaturgs. We thaumaturgs excel at defense, but families that are at defense. The fact that he is top player is this unmoring force before they have a chance to respond. Honors for our knights and dead mages. <laughs> oh, your stage appears to be progressing nicely. It won't be long before you determine the nominate the battlefield it's after a torturous destruction. What are you doing? Don't try to hide from me, by go or you, Benny, Benzi, or Boa. Kakapusi, what are you doing here? Ah, that would explain the brother's comment. You promised, you promised you would teach me next. Well, I guess personally, did Benzi, but Haru was most assistant. I mean, I... You have to get your side and hope that I abandon my heart, sir. Why do you deny me? Most insistent. Hey, uh, can I learn? Sure. Yeah, I read that line really badly. <clears throat> can you push me aside? I'm sorry, man. My heart's desire. 
Why are you denying me? There we are. And all of you. All of you. You shouldn't say such sort of things. You know how delicate Bygo is. That was Kokobushi, our youngest brother. He's so dearly interesting. I thought it was like, it's totally impossible, boys. Poor boys at eighth grade level. It's so kind of fully low. We had quite some except fake school for 20 entered the Alchemist Guild. We had ear and just to walk past the Thalma Toji. She's cooked with the ration. He spends all his waking moments experimenting with alchemical concoctions, sticking a method which he can send his arc capacity for arcane manipulation. It wasn't for the whole you can't take too much of a take too many pots too quickly thing. That would only be a inconvenience to being at least a more uh, me mediocre mage. I mean, sure, you could still teach him a little bit, about, even if he, you know, can't do anything with it. Maybe that might convince him to stop. <laughs> well, this is not, not your turn. Back to the, in, to the business with the best, with, back to the best with you, young summer children, in, my, in, uh, in the most encouraging manner possible. Yep. All right, so first bone staff. Yeah, just carp a bone with a crystal gem in its center. Boop, boop, boop. Two side. I was like, is that one side or both? Uh, yeah. This shit isn't anything spectacular. Uh, or standard mage tire, but I can't even, you know, recolor it. So, something I would actually use to make up a quick. Huh. Well, hell. How can it compete? It is. Yeah, this shit is doing nothing for me, so I might as well take it. Oh. oh, that's that one taken care of. Now my mage is, is a little bit... Oh, right, I got a doctor's control. I literally don't even need gear from this one. Actually, what does the hell does that look like? I just automatically... Eh, yeah, it's just a little cudgel. It's not even a proper, uh, staff or something. I do kind of like that. Yeah, I, uh, did... The last mission I did was... How did I... How did I, uh... The one with the very strangely... ...named enemies, the Doctors. That thing care of, I'm putting that. Hey, Armsmender. Yeah, I just need to get to the point where I can uh start harvesting. I uh, a little free piety from that thing. But I'm not in a huge rush. Stop around here, I'm gonna hawk some of my stuff at. Aha! Right, okay, so... I just do not have the room to store some of this stuff. Uh, I wanted to keep this shit ice blue. I can three by that for real. Like, give me a moment, folks.
All right, sorry, folks, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start ditching uh, the level two stuff because I'm pretty sure I won't need that for that, so you know. Except for this stuff, because it's more useful more immediately. Actually, is it? Eh, I'll, I'll keep it just in case. I, don't, I really don't know how I want to get this to this stuff, you know? Like, it's obviously because it's more expensive, but... Eh, it's just for the gill. I like it's mostly a way to get get anything I put into it back. It's gonna be a while. Eh, there. Anyways, uh, let's. Just looking through, see if animals send you. Animal sinew, boo. Uh, let's see. I'm also keeping this because I can't, can't buy them, but honestly, they're not hard to farm. It's annoying, and I'm not likely to use. I feel like I'm not likely to use any of these things anytime soon, so. There. Uh. Okay. I don't still look like I have anything else I can stash in there <sighs> at the moment. I mean, I have materia, but I'm not in a rush to shove that into the box just yet. Anyways, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm already here. I mean, it should, uh, take a moment to go to the R Ruby Road Exchange and get some, uh, more pancakes. Since those ride buffs and everything. Let's see, yeah, independent arms merchants. Independent merchants. Fieldcraft merchants. Did I turn past it? Yeah, I just kept running and I didn't look. We'll, we'll, like, food's back here, I think. Hot watch. That looks foodish. Oh, I didn't even realize that orange juice stuff just came direct uh, stats. Vintages is be better. Wait, has that only been giving me a plus one to those? Okay, uh, hold on. Let me see if there's one of these is better so I can swap it out. No. Boiled egg. I suppose if you want some really good food, you have to... Buy it. But...
Really, raisins. That's what I want to replace the, uh... Crumpets? Wow, I didn't think that was called pancakes. It looked like a pancake to me. I didn't even read the name. Uh. Well, that is what I need most. Spell speed. I only have one food item active, but at very least I have that from what I really needed the buffs, and that from what I don't. So that's the big one of uh, being a crafter yourself. You can just make food that's actually useful for you. <sighs> do, 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 do. Anyways, let's get to Quarry Mill. And we'll start the long wait. I will need to get up and take a break in a minute or two. Just to stretch and shit. I could attempt it on my own. I'm gonna try this first. Oh, wait, wrong. Yeah, this is almost certainly gonna get my ninja up a couple more levels, no matter what I do. Not much I can do about that on that front, I'm afraid. It's not a big deal. I'll just, yeah. well, I mean, I'll be wasting ninja XP eventually. Anyways, I'm gonna take a. I'm just get up and stretch and shit while we wait for this. You know, let's turn some, some tunes on, eh? But man, I need to give the heart bound a try. The dev, one of the devs for that uh, streamer, and he says that he, as long as you're just, you know, he's just streaming videos and such, you can use the uh, soundtrack for. Uh, well, music wise, uh, anyways. I just get some tunes up and running. And something jazzy now. Shit. 
like the drink over. Oops. Ha ha ha, Aether pull up. <sighs> He's got a lot better than my uh, last few. Alright, whoop, 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 whoop. I'm disappointed to learn that apparently I cannot macro uh, the Mujra in a damn shame because it's annoying finicky nonsense that doesn't actually make the class fun to play. I like Ninja a lot. For the most part. But if I, if I already have trouble remembering some of the more complicated ones. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I was expecting it to take longer. I've had this thing take hours, and then suddenly it's happened. Ugh. I was prepared for it. I was prepared for it happening quickly, but, uh... I do not need to oh, fuck. Ugh. Not fucking. Boom, 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 boom. That is su such a good fucking source for uh, high potions, so I have a nine and limited amount of those. I forgot to keep give myself a food buff. It doesn't, yeah, I'll boost XP in here, but. Phoenix down. It's time for me to sell. It has literally never been useful for me. Ha! Well, machine. F. Bye. I was gonna go get the thing. Bum 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 bum. I do not like traps. Heal those traps the best you can. You guys all handle that way. I'm going to go get the treasure chest in here. Intuition. Ah, finally. My bar is filling out more. In the top room, there's like 10 enemies in the top room, Lamau. Apparently, 
find that useful for dodging shit. needs to be a way to shrink this fucking thing. It's too fucking big. Can't not have it. Wiba. Palace Minotaur. Excellent. I should, uh... I don't know even know if the story for this thing goes all the way up to level 50, but I do. Uh, no, it's got one. And then I vaguely remember it, and I remember really liking it. Disabled, huh? Big group can just wipe through most of these things. You don't necessarily need to grind that shit. shit. I find it still helps, and I think that's the best, oh, it's the best option. Also, the chance of getting more chefs and shit. Even gold chests, because hey, you might get tons of almonds of steel and such. Boop, boop. Oh, it's a Drino uh, Triceratops Ankylosaur. That's what that was. I only really processed the name last time I found one of these hooks in here. Also, I, I, I got rid of those gold needles I made, because apparently you can't use them. can't use them on yourself. So they're fucking useless, basically, for most shit.
Oh, that's cool as shit looking. Haha, Palmander of Fortune. Looks like they're having a bit of trouble in there. Never mind, looks like they they're probably fine. That's chest? Oh well. Do 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 Yeah, it's not active for some reason. Okay, now it is. Ooh, they can find mimics. Always oh, good thing. Aha! Okay, so now I need to remember my ninja stuff. Uh, for our start. I know, I know, it's always the, the last one, but like. It's the most important, but eh. Oh, well, I might be. Lamau. Uh. Sorry to hear that, whatever that is. Hmm. Yeah, other people are confused by what, what's wrong with them. Oh, they got a pox debuff. Fox, uh, I, I discovered what that was finally. It sucks, uh. Essentially, it stops your healing and constant poison damage. Still, if you get, uh, the thing you need, you can. Palace Moralith. Oh, hey, is that the version of those blocks with uh, walls with faces from uh, N? I still haven't opened these. I really should eventually, but who knows? Maybe it'll give me something that's really useful for me. Yep, no. I missed some of what the other party members have said. I should, uh... Did anyone find the Cursed Horde? Oh. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, literally right in there. Owl Mage. Oh, I got knocked out. It appears we split the party. Got silver chest and the way out in here. 
All in the grave. Yeah. Plus, turns out there's more rooms. Well, if you're going over there, then I'll go help. Never mind. I didn't know the pox was uh, selective, though. It's probably best to try to search every gold, gold chest you can get. Honestly, it's one of them. They do drop things that can help with that. Oh, Oop. oh. it's Paul Manders of sight, huh? Damn. Never mind, they got it. Boom, boom, boom. We're still searching for the. Oh! Mini Bob. Oh, wait, no, this is straight up. Oh, we're already level 30. 30, huh? Yeah, I guess that was the last. We didn't get that last thing from Already up. Boss time. I didn't even realize that. When everyone else is ready to go, I feel like. We're not gonna keep them, so might as well move. Bot time means zoom out time. Fuck me, yeah. Finally made it past that until I could see the cutscene. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. You know what? I just heard it. Same time. But the game tunes. It still just. You know, I didn't actually pay too close attention to that sort of thing <laughs> myself. Uh, fuck. I, I was like. Oh, right, I spilled my drink. I need to check on that. Ah, it wasn't much of a spill. It looked worse when I was panicking. <laughs> Gonna look it up on YouTube real quick, because uh, I'm pretty sure I can comment on some things now.
All we had to do there we was go. follow the damn train, CJ. All power for the dead cut things. Uh, it's like, oh, what was it? Ah, uh, another visitor. Oh, that's the first one. You see this thing on her shoulder. And then. Yes, hello. Here we go. I just, like, I know the, the vagaries of the story. Now, okay, so I'm pretty sure I know the character who, that that's meant to be a reveal of a character. But if it is, I cannot fully remember if it is or not. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go ahead and spot myself a little bit here, just to myself just in case I, I accidentally spoiled my house. Oh, there's a nerd question in relation to this, huh? Right, yeah. Hello, dog. Had a visitor pop up. Say hello while this. Huh. Apparently, it's just also a good place to try to XP. Alright, Doug's down. Uh... Yeah, just let me let me just make sure I'm looking at what I'm looking at here. So. Yeah, that is the character I thought it was. You guys, I won't say anything though, just in case it, you might not remember because there's a, a quest I want to go do after I, uh, Okay, yeah, so we'll go ahead and go start this quest and uh, before we do anything else.
because this will hopefully refresh all of us. Uh, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, and while I'm at it, uh... I hate to leave what I could do a group and follow ahead. Well, technically speaking, I don't think it really matters terribly much. You're not really required in any order. So, you know what? Fine. I will... I want to get to the 50 point anyways, so... Oh! Shit, yeah, okay, hold on. Yep, they were waiting for me anyways. Not the same exact group, but we'll get through here, uh, then I'll go do the quest. Like I said, it'll explain things better then. Honestly, I'm making so much more fucking progress here. Nightmare heck dies. I'm at, uh, I'm at level 50, so I can do my, uh, boost. Anybody want to explore anywhere else? Okay, it's fine on me. I don't mind. If this one don't work out. I'll just go bounce and go do the other thing for a bit. Silver chest over here. I didn't even fucking notice it. Everybody's just chasing everybody in circles.
Uh, nope, everyone wants to still explore, so that's okay with me. I thought there's lead right now here because, like, yeah, I, I will explain if it needs to be explained. Otherwise, yeah. Because it has been a long while since we've seen that NPC. It got to the point even I didn't recognize her, and I knew she was here. God damn it. Got frickin' silent. I was like, oop, oop. wait, hold on. Haha, <laughs> silence, but not completely. Let's see. Anything good in here? No, oh, well, okay, possibly, but probably not. Valid. Peloton moon speed is increased. Galvanize. Excellent. I fucked up the casting there. Boop, boop. Yeah, getting this to level 40 should be enough to hold me off for a while while I go do other stuff. I'm just glad I can... Boop. There we go. Armor crush. I don't actually know what that does. I don't look at my, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Always stepping on shit. with the armor crush thing I just got. Shit.
I'll take whatever advantage the game can give me. Or did I just was armor crushing the ability I got at some point? Just completely ignored it and never put it on my bar. Uh, yeah, apparently so. So, uh, shit. That and dream within. Holy shit! I, straight up, never even noticed that. There was an attack with a plenty of a hundred and okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is what it happens when you just let, let it, something stick and just use it for uh, occasional bits of here and there. Okay, uh, armor crush slivers and an attack with a potency of one hundred, uh, and. I, I cannot. I do not have time to do this. I'll just not make proper use of my shit. Uh, uh, see what I said when targets flanked. Okay, well. Man, I think this was available back when you couldn't really level up past 15. You just have to, you know, keep going with just the Aether Pull. Okay, 161 attack, Gust Slash, ONC. It extends to Tunduration by, I don't know what Teuton is, off the top of my head. Shit. Huh. Adept Assassination. What? Where's my assassination? Okay, uh, hold on. I, I need to... Dream within a dream. There's a free full attack. Each hit. Okay. You know what? I'll just do... keep using it and then we'll fucking fuck with shit until afterwards, you know? Great, uh, 150 damage, so damn, that's fun. Right from the get go. Alright, well, I'll just. I'm gonna have to reorder my entire bar now that I've noticed this shit exists. Okay. Okay, now I know what Armor Crusher is for.
Fuck, that is straight up better than the other one. I think. It keeps you time going, which means I don't need to waste shit on it. Oh wait, eh, misfire. Okay. Okay. Uh, 320, 300, okay, that's just straight up better. I, fuck, I might just replace the other one. Well, no, I can't, because I need it for, you know, going through, or, for whenever I get my level slashed, but, oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to figure, put serious thought on how to arrange my, my hot bar now. And I don't know. Ooh, that's, that's actually legit. There was an instant pack, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to rearrange shit, uh... Yeah, okay. Trying to figure out how this shit works right now is... a no-go. Yeah. Uh... Traits. Ooh. I can take a s single moment to. Okay, I'm gonna take a brief moment just to look through shit. Dream within a dream. Okay, that that replace. I did. Seriously, do not know. Good shit, though. Oh, okay, well. Oh. Item throw. I can't even use the palm under a strength. I've got it. Of course not. There we go. I got assassination plus and suddenly my assassination is swapped out for something else. That's much better, but I just don't what?
cannot wait till I get out of this. Just look at my shit because I'm level 15. I am absolutely at this level. I should not be. Uh... Damn. Oh well. Gonna use it though. That nightmare going on does. Okay, uh. Ah, I could have got it off. I'm like, wait, hold on. Oop. Damn, that shit's good. <laughs> we'll deal with this, and then, like, if the, I, I, first things first, I'm looking at my. Uh. For some reason, I've been treating all my classes like they stagnated after 15. I, I, I really didn't think that through. I've hit level 60 and now I'm not getting any more benefit from experience gains. Probably because it's either, you know, it just doesn't let you go up past that point or, you know. I'm two levels below that point and as such, it's not locking for me. Why do I not have any of those? I thought they applied to everybody. I barely did shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a fucking moment here just to fucking look over my shit because, well, no, it's probably best to do that after I leave. Huh. That's that. The whole stuff us mode was apparently useful after all. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, I get it. Because they're locked behind shit I don't have. I have to actually start the class quest to get these properly. Still, I should arrange them so I can make use of them in there. Okay. That's really fucking useful. Holy shit. That gives me the ability to use Hutan without uh, having to fucking bother using it. Oh, that's so good. That means I never have to bother with that again once I get that. Because with that and armor crush, I just, I never need to cast it. That's really fucking good. Great. And get to assassination. Okay, okay, so that's... I was so fucking confused. Yeah, apparently this is good. This is this, yeah, this is good for getting out of the radius of uh, either AoE's fast, something I would probably never end up thinking of using for, or when you're getting knocked back. Kind of like what happened when I was doing that, uh, 15 crossover. Okay, well. Is it not available yet? Does it not yet unlock? Let me check. If I need to do this to unlock it. Unlocks. Nightmares end. Uh, that's the quest I'm looking for here. How do I unlock this? Oh, okay, so apparently I was wrong. I actually do need to do level 50 first. But I need to do, do a different dungeon first. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... This... I don't really use that much for right now. Okay. Just need time to uh, do that. Where's the woodwheel? I have never had this fucking much luck. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I guess I moved that over there without realizing it. Uh, uh, actually, this is a bit too big. Uh, I'm too big. Hold on. I'm used to using a slightly, uh, backed up. There we go. Uh, okay, so... I did actually, do actually need to do this up to level 50 to get what I need. Estimated wait time is currently, f uh, five minutes, though, so... Honestly, uh, not that bad, not that bad. 
I need to go get myself a drink real quick. Uh, we will just, you know, wait. Sorry about that, folks. Ah, I wish I had just gone ahead and while I was in there, but then fully read that. <laughs> I was like, okay, I need to go to that thing. More importantly, I need to fucking figure out why the fuck I didn't have that a answer is because I just... I obviously need to start the next ninja quest line to be able to properly use them. That's fair. This one might take longer. A bit, bit of snack. That one was very much a lot of panicking. Alright, so... There's another quest that I need to that ties into this that will better help you figure out what the fuck's going on here. Oh! I, I did see the, the, the guy who ties into this, and Ulda. So... Hey, I can teleport back to Old On just to straight up do that. Probably should look this up, but I've done that instead, but Yeah, I don't need to fully complete this th thing. I just wanted to get this quest line done. Then I can put this back for a while while I do other stuff. Do a little background uh grinding to get my ether pull up. Because once I'm at 50, it'll be a lot easier since I can start at 50. I recently finished uh, watching Season 2 of... Uh, my next life with the villains. Other outs lead to doom. Season 2. Or X. I think it just called it Season 2. I like it. I know the material it was that uh, it was adapted from one of the best in the series. But uh, I don't know how, it, how well it handles it compared to. I haven't read the source material version. I just heard bad things. And I can see reflections of what I've heard, but I don't know, actually know if it's just I'm not as bothered by it and such. Some of it I definitely know is improved because Ben May makes it exceedingly more clear. Uh, spoilers, by the way. The the the, uh, con the uh, backing concept. God, I can't even remember what they. The premise, that's it, premise, God. The premise of, uh, 
My Life with the Villainess is a 17 year old girl from Earth spend all her time playing her favorite uh, visual novel or tell me game, Fortune Nova, about a young peasant girl who born with light magic. So rare that it allowed her entrance to the most prestigious school of her country to study alongside the likes of the royal family. And of course, was a gold bank to woo the hearts of one of four boys, Prince Jugurdo, the dark hearted prince. Prince Alan, the uh, brother who always lives in all trapped in his brother's shadow. Keith, the lonely playboy, who puts <laughs> loneliness in his heart. By playing with the hearts of other girls and the smoldering handsomeness of Nicole Ascot. Uh, if she didn't come into this world as the main character, like she would have hoped, but as one of the villains, the villain, really, because the other there are four guys and three rival girls, uh, Sophia Ascot. The living sister, but you know, she's been mistreated for most of her life, so she's the rivals. It because if you don't gain her approval, then the brother will ultimately uh break it off in favor of his sibling. That sounds messed up. Uh, in favor of uh, putting more time with his sibling, you know, if you're even. You mistreat his sister, or she doesn't like you, then he's got no no business. His beloved little sister, he's got no business doing anything with you. Even if he does care about you. When her over, oh, boom, boom. Uh, Mary Hunt, the fiancé of Prince Alvin. The brother trust was in it. Gerard Shadow. Oh, Gordo. Sure. And so on. He's got lots of names. Apparently, some translation goofs. Uh, various translation goofs people did. Uh, for most of the way there. Uh, that one's sort of obvious, you know. He had to decide between his fiance, who is definitely in love with him, or you, and the bad end is. Ending sadly and all that. Uh, and then there's Katarina Clay's the rival character for uh, hold on. Uh, Prince Serato and Keith Clay's. She's a rival character for Keith Clay's because uh. Oh, she's a horrible, awful person who's treated him like shit his entire life. He's her adopted brother, and he's just, from the moment he, he was brought in, he just treated him horribly. Along with his stepmother and their old stepdad, who also. Uh, Mother, adopted mother and adopted father who at best just stood by while the rest of the other two treated him horribly and basically tortured him. <laughs> so she can't stand the idea of him being happy. Also, she just fucking hates Murray because she's the main, the main character. Not Murray. Murray, yeah. Is the main character's name. 
Maria Campbell. I don't think I really hate her. So, yeah, big, yeah, horrible, awful piece of shit. Oof. Let me go get that. People not how great in that. Or she's a rival for part of lord because she's his fiance. Originally done out of pity for something that happened when they were on a childhood play date. And later just got around as a uh, extremely annoying shield against other girls. Because he's got no real interest in romance until of course the dark heart friends Reads Maria. I is charmed by her simple tree ways. So yeah, ah, uh, the first she wakes up in the body of the of the, of the thing game as the villain, who who in two of her endings ends up exiled, and the other two endings ends up dead. She tries to murder Maria, and uh, those are the bad ends because it. Because, well, he's just killed his sister, even in self-defense, so... Of someone else, so... Yeah, that destroyed what little home life he did have. And caused them, uh, caused them all sorts of problems. Whereas, Gerardo might not have loved her. Slaying his fiance Causes him to send himself into exile instead. Yeah. Thankfully, her, she shows up as an eight-year-old just after her little, uh, her, um, just after, you know, she became, actually, right before Gerard insists that he becomes her fiancé to make up for, again, the thing they have on a child to date. She tripped, smacked her head, scarred it. It didn't turn out that bad because it disappeared, eventually disappeared, but. Only afterwards she realized where she was and who she was, and uh. Thus began her. Gears Lung's attempts to deflect her horrible, doomed fate. To, to, to uh, escape the doom fags. She was also called Hamahora. She, uh. Does actually really early on without noticing, and that's for, and that's because Bacarina, as the fandom love scholar, is an idiot. She's a lovable, goofy idiot, and through that lovable, goofy idiot, she charms most of her friends real early on. Her fiance, or our simple country ways, comes to visit, and she's working on a a. Uh, Farm, her her own personal vegetable garden. I well, one, she thinks it'll improve her earth's magic. It doesn't. But two, if she gets exiled, she knows how to farm, guaranteeing her ability to survive. Whereas, and Katarina was uh, spoiled. It would not. In fact, she was spoiled. And she be made not mention. I say she's inserted in here. She's outright reincarnated. She's just regaining her past life's memory. So this is made more clear with this uh, spinoff, but uh, I will get to it in a moment. But, dear old Katarina. Ugh. I'm good with waiting, honestly. I mean, the good news is I don't have to wait here. If it gets annoying, I can always just go to, uh... Hold on, but... Yeah, that's what I get for ducking out. When I had a good streak going. <laughs> Actually, hold on, there was a thing I wasn't going to do. Uh...
Where is the... Is it in the system? I can't remember. User macros. Yeah, mid-8. Wait a minute, I, I just realized I can change this, so I'm going to, uh... <laughs> I wanted to have a specific uh, hello for when I'm streaming with someone. Oh, back up to pray. Anyways. We're gonna farm. She's climbing trees. Quote, like a monkey. Literally, both how she would describe it, both this and the previous life. And she's just an adorable, incredibly nice and kind, but very, very... Idiot. We see her, her inside her head, and then her guiding thought process is depicted as five versions for each embodying part of her. And the one that with the glasses, who's who's supposed to be the smart one, is still just an idiot. Also, one of them has a judge robe and a bushy mustache, white mustache. It's quite humorous. Uh, but yeah, it's a very fun, fun show. It's very fun. Uh, but like, yeah, she, she soothes, soothes him, charms him, charms the adopted brother, and a very adorable moment with like, well, of course, he, he needed a crush on her, right? It's, it's that, and more humorously, when she starts meeting the other rival girl, she uh, brings them under her, real early on, she brings them under her sway. Than the guys through that, <laughs> like the other prince, straight up storms and stops to do and uh, and I should mention they're eight year old, so and he yells, stop seducing my fiance and all that. Uh, hilarious. But yeah. And all of those threats are taken care of. And then, of course, honestly, those are quite good. Like, how she does it with Mary, for instance. Just accidentally steals Prince Alvin's lines, and he storms over. You know, stop seducing my fiance! He says. And Katarina accidentally ends up. It's solving him, and this one thing lets his letter, and they cha he challenges her to a match, and she steps, and this decides, since she's a challenge, she, she gets to decide what it is. Tree climbing. She whoops his butt. Pretty quickly, they forget what fight it even started, and just have a start up a rivalry where they're constantly challenging things. She, and through this, she helps the brothers patch up their shit. It's just great stuff.
eventually Murray they time skips to the start of the academy. And it's fairly obvious to everyone involved that, it, that they're all vying for attention, including the very So all the characters act very different than how they did in the game. And Katarina the Nuts. Keith is a is a bl blushing goofball. Who couldn't even think of being a of uh you know, acting any way like he, he does in the game. Gerard's just a a good guy. A good guy who Yeah, definitely has the uh Slow up charm to him, even if Katarina very much doesn't fucking notice. He literally kisses her neck after a dance and talks about taking her to back to his room to, uh. And she's like, oh, a bug bite, and fails to understand what he means. Prince Alvin's a, a, a cheerful, upbeat musician. Mary's extremely thirsty. <laughs> extremely thirsty lesbian, it is. <clears throat> Absolutely peak humor. Just endless amounts of thirst on it when it comes to that one. Just great. Sophia is ad adorable, and their bond is partly through romance novels and trying to wingman her brother. Who won't do anything because Prince is his best friend. Which is probably the only reason the Prince has a chance to guess. <laughs> she will she will literally pass out from sheer oh, from looking into his eyes for too long. It happens multiple times. Right. The other one with the big advantage is Marie. Who won? Make sweets. And Katarina will inhale those things until there's nothing left. He loves Marie's face sweets especially. But also so often Katarina will think of Marie with a thought like well if I want to have the guy or oh, if I want the girl like Real fellas, is it gay energy with her <laughs> and Marie? This great, especially because you know, like even she undergoes a personality change from the game, and she's the one who's got, got hit with it the last game. Marie, uh, Maria, not Marie, Maria, Marie is the thirsty lesbian, Maria. Is in the game is you know your standard self insert girl nothing of character in such a game. Here, she absolutely will get catty with the others about when it comes to a uh, your girl. Hey, yo, dog. Hey, dog. Uh, yeah. Outside of that, uh, yeah. The thing does eventually reveal that there was a threat she she hasn't neutralized because she didn't know about it. A secret fifth character to romance. I won't go into that, just good shit. Good shit. I will however spoil something on the second thing because this is yeah. You know, it's both more engine thing, but also some of the source of compl complaints for the material it's based off of. And that's uh and I mean, big complaints. Uh, 
I'm, this is where I'm pretty sure it's changed. You see, after our first big guard, Henry Jordo, who's been definitely putting the moves on her, but still, you know, in a, a decently respectful way with, you know, I've been waiting for you to realize, to actually realize, when I tell you I love you, I love me, I love you. So he says, fuck it, and it just smacked. And especially since, uh, <laughs> stay waiting for a big thing and planting the big one on her. And she basically does a lot to pretend it didn't happen. Or she's like, oh, it was just a dream. After she's forced to confront that it wasn't. And he does it again. Up until the next big arc, just had something that distracts her from it. She's super nervous around him, hiding behind others and such. And then that might sound bad, but it's, it's even she, her rare voice to say it. Girl has no experience with any of this stuff. It's just, it's just doesn't even know how to begin to feel on this. Because it's like, even ignoring the whole game thing, she does have a thing does like him and such and might even like him that way but it's a whole bunch of complications she's not fit to be queen she knows that her mom knows that everybody fucking knows that but Jordo, who is absolutely would not care but at the same time you know She doesn't straight up turn him down or such. She's just nervous and constantly blushing. In the source material, this was apparent. Uh, th this lent more to her just forgetting about it, even at right after that. For the most part, and just straight up seemingly not caring. To the point that this shit got so repetitive, the translators were like, fuck this, and stopped. Because they just could not bear anymore. Here it's very, very clear from the animation that no, no. She hasn't forgotten. She's not oblivious about him anymore. She's just. doesn't know how to remotely deal with any of this. Which is from our Santa Dang shame because like the arcs that were after the anime the uh, not animators, the translators quit or do some really interesting stuff I've heard. Like this was the arcs that were definitely the uh worst of the whole thing, where it was definitely felt like the story was spinning its wheels because like the end of the first season, which was the end of the first two like, was definitely felt like the intended end point, but its popularity meant they could keep going. Whereas Four, uh, three and four, and five and six, so I've heard good things about five and six. But that'll be a while, so. Actually, one of my favorite moments, I will say, spoiler, is. One of the things established that she, back in her old life, she had a friend who helped get her into it. She, she was always back and forthing with her about this stuff and such. When it became abundantly clear how the prince fiance felt about her, she, uh, at the end of the episode, 
is a cutback to her normal life. Or, or see her from her perspective talking to her friend. You don't hear her voice in that life, but just hear her friend go, ah, you captured the, the dark hard prince, huh? And I was like, that's, that's great. That's a fucking amazing touch. I love it. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It's going to be a while before we get more, because apparently there's a movie coming soon-ish. It's in the works, plus it was a while before between season one and two, and that's just how anime works now, which is good. It, it gives time for, you know, story that you're basing on the develop, time for it to be properly worked on and such. You don't get and you don't get one pieces millions of episodes with half a fucking page per episode. Nick, if you just produce it in chunks like this, I should have. I really should have just continued with the next group. Oh well. No. I'm going to wait here until we... Uh, I will say that tonight, but I will... I will say that I will at the very least... Uh, if it comes down to it not just upload this up to YouTube, I will pull it down and do a speed up effect here. Come on, man. Don't fail at the last minute. We just need one more. Yeah. Alright, that's... holy shit, that's a really powerful increase to, uh, Ninja. Like, oh no, I'm gonna run out of this. Yeah. Feeling a bit of a feedback loop there. We'll probably just cut that out. Either way, like I was. 
Uh, I can't Oh, I, I should. Oh, okay, first I should lock that. And then I should. There we go. Yeah, that's the good shit. It really is just a better version of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm starting, I'm just starting reading also a, uh, fun spinoff. I've heard about. Verge of Doom, which the premise of that is basically that. Oh. Now that is instead of punking your head and regaining your memories at eight, he punks your head and regains her memories. After the start of the game, after she's already started mistreating Maria. She made her memories. And then, I didn't quite realize the situation, just I was, oh, I've been mistreating this person. I should apologize. I'm. What's wrong? What was wrong with me? What I act that way? And it's only afterwards she realized that she, uh... Who she is and such. And also that she's only- that she's less than a year away from those, yeah, bad fates. Of course, again, she could avoid them by just not fucking doing any- any of the bad things, but that uh, doesn't necessarily- well, necessarily save her from one potential hidden threat. I actually do not know how that one's going to play out, because, but it's very interesting, because, like, yeah, all that stuff I mentioned, out the window. Spent years horribly mistreating Sophia, like everyone else. That ain't happening. That one might, might be salvageable, but that's not for reasons that wouldn't make sense to anyone in the universe. Ah, explosions. Yes. Excellent. Even better potions. Like legit, if I didn't yeah, uh, aim the third one of these for something, I absolutely would. Well, uh, 
I think that's shit. There's no really truly fixing all the things she, she did in that life with the uh... teeth. So even if she can make it so that you know things are neutral, that it'll never be good. Hell, everyone involved immediately treats what she's doing as with suspicion, but also like, what you're gonna do? Like, it's interesting because one of the things this thing quickly does from our, our books from our understand what I've seen is establish that bad Katarina wasn't that off from good Katarina. No. He was an idiot. Her magic for shit. Uh, always did things based on her on, on whatever silly whim entered her, her head at this time. Briefly turned around there. My base silence. I feel like I don't know that I could do. God damn it, you, in a group, you just fucking ravage the enemies. Ugh. I will also finally take the time to start unpacking my curse. A cursed orb collection I got. And once we finish this, because like, why the fuck not? Yeah. You know? Yeah. The, the main difference apparently seems to be between you know. Uh. Pre re uh, reincarnation, uh, very nice. Oh, this is, I was, uh, kind of in a place that I remember is just is a spoiled brat, and the other color of that is just a uh, normal kid. He has embraced that later to being much more humble and kind. Ah. 
utter fucking devastation here. I was clicking the wrong fucking buttons. person horde and knew we had to go get it. No longer any point in fighting individual enemies, but you know. You appreciate that I never have to worry about the Huton again. Once I unlock that. Yeah, that's the annoying part. Like, I would love to just place that here and never use that other yeah, one again, but would feel more natural, but I'm getting into the swing of this. How far away from this? Okay, it's worth it to go in there then. There we go. I'm just doing so much fucking damage. Alongside everyone else is doing so much fucking damage. Oh, damage health is increased. Yeah, that's some good shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yo. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, Nightmare Persona, the thing of many faces.
Okay, that was worth it. Uh, yeah. Damage dealt increased. Ooh. That's some good shit. Like we got three more levels to go. Oh. Someone activated it. I just wanted to see if it was in the room. Excellent. There we go. Uh, man. Oh, fuck you. There we go. <laughs> and this one is, uh...
It really is pretty fucking easy when you're in a group. God dang. It wore off. Carbon for these fuckers like a hot knife through butter. Especially with Mage's bow and going. God dang. I don't feel like we'll have any trouble with the boss, so... There we go. God, okay, I couldn't, couldn't even see what angle I'm coming at there from there with all the visual effects. Take care of that. Ah. So much trouble for so fucking long and then just smooth fucking sailing. I honestly suspected expected this would take longer. So uh next time we're just gonna go do, I'm gonna put down we're doing uh two point X stuff and Didn't see it there. Come on. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a cutscene here. Yep. Alright, so if you don't remember who this character is, I would like to remind you meet Edda and uh, Avar. Here, I guess come on, my love. Let's show her, 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 her way out. I missed the first part of what she said, so I'll have to look it up elsewhere. Whoops. Don't remember Edda and Avar? 
Okay, so remember way back in the beginning of our adventures. Uh Okay, I, I was briefly getting uh Edda Black Blossom. Edda was one of those groups of adventurers we met when we first started raiding dungeons. Way back when she was the healer of the group, of her particular group. Am I remember it? Unable to act on your own free will. Okay. the only one still alive oh my god oh and that 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 might oh it didn't it didn't I made my attempt. Okay, I was not expecting that, that to be a possibility. I sleep thought I'd win. Uh, shit. I... Fuck! That was not something that entered my mind. I managed to survive a little bit longer than everybody else, but, uh... Okay, okay so... There were multiple groups. One group got completely wiped out. They said they, you know, they talked about how they would, uh... Love your rivals and everything, and then just... One, one time they were there, and one time they were gone. He did, and he talked to the guy, and he said, yeah, no, uh, those guys went and died. He had a, I think it was a father-daughter pair who were traveling together, and her grandfather and granddaughter pair, either way. God damn. 
baby. Oh, man, that was... I think we'd all try and get back in, but fuck. What the fuck, all oh, bro? At one moment they were all there, the moment next they were all fucking dead. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on, shit, everybody's dead. I'm not a mage. I'm a stabby stabby guy. I I don't constantly watch what everyone else is doing. Yes, yeah, just one moment they were there, the next fuck they were fucking dead. Holy shit. As long as we can avoid dying, I think we can pull it off. But if not, I might have to just uh, put that to bed tonight for tonight and instead grind up uh, more shit to make me more powerful so that I can do you more damage and survive even longer. Anyways, uh, while I wait again, when it's good to think I kept going, but still, look. Oh, my, uh... What was I talking about? Yeah, it, uh... There were free groups you saw floating around in those early ones. Some, and times they popped up in cutscenes, sometimes you just see, see them outside. And his group continue can uh there was one another group of who was just out there for exploration's sake, and then there was those guys who were clearly out to make it big. And there were three of them. Avar, Edda, and two others. Avar was the the uh tank, Avar was the healer, and uh Well they they were uh, apparently they were Fiance, stays, but uh, he and the rest of the group treat her pretty fucking poorly, expecting them her to provide for them all financially, treating them like treating them like shit, and well. When one th reason or another something went wrong on a mission and and Avar, oh that's right, yeah, Avar it, uh, ran out of range of her spells without fucking thinking and got himself mulched. Until, uh, and beheaded, apparently. That was in a bit. The others blamed her for it. Told her to stop fucking carrying his head around. And, uh, yeah. You saw that, and that was the last you saw of them for pretty much all of ARR. And then here, and then this place unlocks, and you slowly but surely dig into it. You're probably not going to make your way all the way through it before, well before you finish uh, ARR. But if you do, off the way discovered that's what happened to her. Good old Edda. Cracked. Like an egg. Uh of our was her husband. That little flying head thing on her shoulder? That's of our. That's the boy that's his head. Turned into some sort of monster, and she's gone full uh mad ne necromancer. I have been waiting for fucking this for so fucking long.
this is one of those things that convinced me that it, a that ARR and fourteen in general is such a fucking good game, even er this early on. During what is reportedly the worst fucking part of it, you have this running storyline about shit with adventurers. You have another group of adventurers who ended up wiped. Uh, you have one that falls apart when their leader gets himself stupidly killed, and as they, and the grieving uh, fiance who snatched from a combination of that and the mistreatment that nobody getting her the help she should have gotten, and to become a dungeon boss you gotta take care of. I fucking love 14 for that. I fucking love 14 for that. Ah. Yeah, this is gonna take a bit. Yeah, he, yeah, it'd been long enough that even I didn't instantly recognize her face, but yeah. And it should be noted, it, it seems like it doesn't really explain that. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if it does fully, but I know there's a follow-up quest that goes into more detail. That's what I was actually looking for. I thought it might have... I'd gotten the order of the quest wrong. Anyways, I really want her gear. Max potion. God damn. That's so much power more powerful, but it. Explosion. Okay, so the X potion is coolly better than the max potion in every way. Uh, I'll kick that. Instantly upping as much as it is I can. The must. Okay, so we're not getting done with this. We're, we might not get done with this tonight, then, after all. I fucking love 14. Shit like this is stuff that adds so much depth to the world and the story. And the best part is, it's a thing that you really only get the most of if you actually poked around and shit. Why do you feel like you ignored side quests like this until after you caught, caught up with all the full MSQ stuff? Just move. You'd have no eye fucking idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That tell me uh, one thing. Uh, how about Hora? I was talking about earlier. Uh, I realized. There's another one out there I want to give a try, but only up to the first stuff. Uh, I'm in love with the villainess, which is, in that one, the person actually does insert as the main character, but... Girl absolutely loves the bad guy, and not any of the boy- any of those boys.
absolutely wants the horrible villain who mistreats her to keep me streeting her. It sounds freaking hilarious. But I also know that after a certain point, it just goes off the rails for an entire plot I have no interest in. I just want to, again, invest in that one thing. And if I like put that enough, I might see the stuff that comes after. But that's later. Next anime I'm going to watch is ReZero. Partly because, one, I've wanted to watch it for a while. Partly because everybody fucking reacts to that, but not fucking this. It is damn near impossible to find reactions to my life as a villainess. Shame, it's a good one. It's real good. I'm gonna take a quick break, folks. Uh... Okay, so uh, after looking at things, I actually 100% believe there's some shit here that is absolutely 100% out of order, and they're the reason, and I absolutely spoil the thing, and I am absolutely 100% fucking confused here. I'll give it a, another couple of minutes, and if not, uh, we'll just end it. Yeah, uh, so apparently there's an entire meeting with Edda I have no memory of doing a month. Strange. I remember it now that I'm reading it, but I apparently somehow missed it. CJ.
All we had to do was follow the damn train, Fucking DJ. Dumb. Bullshit. Goddamn bullshit me. Not oh. Yeah, okay, so there's an entire meeting that uh, I can't find. I have no idea when this is supposed to fucking take place. And I'm, I'm not seeing anything here. That says it. Uh, so yeah, uh, the, the, all that stuff I just mentioned, there's a, a whole bunch of shit, and I fucking ruined it. Because I did. All right, and they let you do this stuff before you do that stuff. And that's, I will say that's a negative on their part. That's actually a negative, because, like, you won't understand fully what's going on here. Uh, the game actually does explain a lot of that stuff to you. Stuff to you here. But not fucking here, and I am fucking annoyed Okay, I'm I'm leaving. We'll come back tomorrow. I literally cannot fucking find anything. I'm looking on YouTube. Oh my god, damn, get the fuck. Ugh. We, we apparently meet her at some point. I cannot find any thing here. I just see older, 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 a whole bunch of older stuff. None of it has to do with fucking. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. I am, yeah, okay, there's supposed to have been a meeting with her somewhere, where she, uh, admired the Warrior Light for all their achievements, motivating her to become, uh, uh, oh, okay, never mind. The Warrior learned a very, who had admired the Warrior of Light for all their achievements, and to become one as well. Upon taking a proper look at the Warrior, Ed Ethic again felt motivated to become a strong Avenger, helmed and continuing. However, since shit went wrong. I'm not gonna say anymore because now I'm fucking annoyed. I taint partially tainted this really good fucking quest. I misread this part here. And it They really should let you be able to do this before you go talk to hold on. Before you go start do this quest. Because literally, it makes no fucking sense beforehand. It is literally chronologically after. So. I thought I'm somewhere around here. Corpse Groom. That's what I'm looking for. I didn't see her anywhere, and we were supposed to have talked to her, so I don't know what the fuck's up with that. Hey, Rayo. 
Pale Rio looks as though he's seen a ghost. Ah! Huh? Why wow, you are a fox? Time searcher. Thank God it's right here. Let me do some stuff. Find this fair. One of the many faceless adventurers struggling to make their way through it is, yeah. Stop it, right? Don't worry your right now. You're spurring the adventure with dogs saying long before you became a household name. Fast near stuff out you see. Hard to believe we moved in similar circles back then. Speaking of which, do you perchance remember having met a conjurer named Beta around that time? We used to adventure together, she and I and two others. Yep, this is one of those assholes. Well, then last along, I think so the people of our leader and Ed has found that men and then Tim Terra deep rough. I'm s I really like this quest line, so having this painted by doing it out of order is gone me. Oh, it, this this is getting me. Actually, we've changed me all around. She's old, I hadn't planned on taking the horror crowns, but let's let it ride right up. It's her wedding. Now, I know you're thinking, should we have her right? Well, until I know what the name of her groom to be. Who's on her is an Avair. Or the meaning from the summer, it's to be Tamsir or Deepcroft, the very place where the poor fellow died. Something isn't right, I tell you. God, ah, oh, so fucking annoying. Like, I thought it would be explained after. Nope. You, you'll understand why I'm going on on this. And why letting you do this beforehand, it was a fucking screw up, writing wise. Now, later, Edda wrote that, and I, I saw it done in this order. It didn't even occur to me. I was literally looking at it, and I should have fucking put, realized it. I literally looked it up for, and I failed to fucking get that. And that's on me for not doing that, but that's on them for letting me get that in the wrong order. Now, in the letter, Edda wrote that the. No, honey. That's the first one I ever had already read it in. Me each other recently from what I could gather. Not knowing, not knowing what to make of it all, I thought it was to consult Levani about the whole strange affair before I left. I thought she joined Scion to the Seventh Dawn. She did, and I have a lot for Scion to go about turning around. Now, until the greatest sign of them all appeared, that is. Maybe where I might find her? In the list chart of Church of the Saint Adama Ladama. Sorry, I don't. The Imperial you say, but well, I, I didn't even realize that was one of her party members. Damn, I I'd forgotten who she was. But uh, damn, yeah, she got killed. Of course, having taken in what I've already said, it's not hard to figure out what how she's intending. Um, all the black cloth still lived and maybe that lady met in it recently. Gosh, I don't know what to believe. Thanks so much, Ash. What a great you show me Love Bane's grave. We didn't always see that, but she had a good heart, and if she's truly... Oh, I need to pay my sex. Please meet me at the Lichy Yard. I am way too fucking annoyed at this. I love this quest line, and screwing it up absolutely does damage the impact, I think. Like, you might not even realize who she is if you don't do this thing. And letting you do it out of order. But you only locked that at level 17. You know, you did that at level 50. That's just stupid. That's stupid. Who's sucking? God. And that there's another quest I saw. I got somehow my brain didn't think this one was necessary. Story-wise. To understand what was going on in there, but nope, nope, it, it was, it was. Hold, uh, Camp Dry Bone. Right now, I'm absolutely going to be prioritizing certain quest lines and such. I want to finish up P to D, at least level 50. If that will end that story chunk, then I can uh, continue the this particular quest line to its completion. Then I'm going to go back and do uh, the one I started a long while ago. Levin's Grave. Ah, uh, don't look in great condition. The thing that's knocked over and there's a fort disturbed. Nope, yeah, that answers that question. Surprise. 
lied would be the correct term. I mean, in this. Not only is her grave defiled, her body's gone! Who could have done this? I mean, I could have been a. I think the more it makes sense, well, I was gonna say sense, but. God, I'm. Let's try to explain that. So that's our little party before was what it means to reach new life. Seeing that to Edda, it was her life. It's hard shame. We agree with her. Though we knew full well we were all to blame. And then we left her where she stood in her head for company. Yeah, we were supposed I'm supposed to have met her and consoled her, but nope, nope, nope. I can't even sh go show you the theme. How could we have been so heartless? Some small wonder the glory has been driven from our wits. So then all I can do is admit our mistakes and make them as best we can. It was gone till the event, but Ed refused to accept it, so I won't let go of the past. And what she meant to do with Tam Tam Tara, but I can leave no good end right in this, this wedding and try to restore her to her senses. And I'll be more assured if you could come here, me, Haru, as everyone died, so too does Edda look up to you. She may not listen to me, but she may yet heed the words of someone she denied in telling that. No idea. I don't know. better thing. If you hurry, you need not come to that. Please, we attend to Edda. Your mouth terrible. Put an the man that said it was planning. I was very careful, but I... The thing is, I can't even find when I was supposed to have met her. I want to pay respects to a fellow scion. <laughs> I'm seriously bu bugging out about this. I absolutely remember that conversation as just established there. Where the fuck? I was supposed to fucking go talk to her, and I missed it. Okay, so now I know it was... Well, I'm gonna go ahead and rate her lines here. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Ah. All right, the last two ones were I didn't actually. Oh, oh no, wait, I did. I just completely forgot about this. God damn, I completely. Spe okay, so that you actually have to do this. My name is Ed. It's like you. I thought. Oh, okay, yeah. See, now I. I just fake that. Okay, that's on me. I forgot that bit. So wait, you have to do that. Okay, it's not an optional thing. Okay. I am very, very, uh, annoyed. Punch him out. Not a fun time, I'm just someone to fellow like that went into the leave right now, a minute ago. With him, dressed head to toe in white. I don't think it was like a million on a winning day, but your friend looks stiff as a board. Can't take a blame, but I'll just do strange things to the best of us. You know, I'll take care of you, don't wait, because then. <laughs> 
as Tam Terra Deepcroft hard hard accessible. Yep, hard mode versions of things are a thing, and they absolutely are party based. Uh, another homestone. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm, I've got plenty of space. I'll do this. Ugh. Yeah, hard mode variants are basically you just do do a dungeon, but you know, like harder or raid harder with more difficulty, more stuff, you know, longer fight, shit like that. Alternate fights. They also tend to have a lot better rewards, not just an Alec and Tome Stones. I have to look up what's so I just let people no. I uh, hit the thing and let people know, hey! You're on camera. Folio. I kind of find that's the courtesy with your hero, my love. It's part of the sign of why this year's very much wrong. So they literally thought all about you, about us. But she is the one of two words trust because she is. Everything she said to me inspired I me. Mean, why her gay loan can still be as a common sign never knew I had. Truly, I feel a little better prepared to face the future for having met her. All right, you were, my love. Sorry, folks, I was reading. Yeah, see, this goes fucking much more into it, and I am so annoyed at myself for not having done this first before I revealed that. I mean, her face was already revealed with authority, but... But this actually reveals all of that. Including making it obvious that things of her head. It doesn't fucking look like it. No, I don't remember it looking like that, so I'm pretty sure it looks a bit different here, now. Seriously, a week has passed since we returned to the village, and I already kind of helped sink in with the mistake. But this place seemed just large enough, but having seen the wider world, I feel as if I'm only confined. I often find myself struggling for breath. I know that's the same for you, my love. I only feel that is when I'm entering with you. We are as cage friends in our back. As long as we remain here, we will never spread our wings to soar. No, I create a life of wonderful memories together. As a reminder, this is after she went home and had her talk to us. Uh, she is absolutely talking to her is severed head as if it's still around right now, right here. She was still somewhat put together when... We last spoke to her. I did not remember that conversation at the fuck all. <laughs> I remember a lot of this plot line, but that one apparently spaced it. So 
still, I won't let this tomorrow. It's still a fucking good plot line. This really should have been a requirement. I could not have hoped. Uh, Help from a my first visit to Mordona. So that first landing will on the Renegade. At this society, our happy, our future together. And we blaze by silver tree or lake, watching the waves slapping the shore. The sun took a sleeve beyond the eyes, and that we might enjoy a moment of intimacy. We may tear forever. You first said those were years ago, and said them to me in tight. I'm so happy to be with you. Uh, hmm. Oh, hey, and there's Love Light, Light, Leia Mane. Yes, uh, she's with Ari at the point where she's uh, responding. I don't remember her super well as a member of the... Her, I don't remember. It was mostly Ed. That I remember. Of course, I also remember before we did, did the quest that Ed was... I think they treated her a lot better. But he was a lot more... The bit, oh, God. An army of fucking zombie best men. Oh, fuck. As new ghosts kite them. They are slower than you. Ah, those are the ads. Don't okay, don't kill the ads. Don't bother with them, just focus on the main enemy and the ads is the term for those things, by the by. Oh, this is open. Uh Ring of Divine Death. I have no idea what the fuck that is. We'll see what it is. That'd be a really cool ring to have. Yeah, this, was, this isn't going to be easy shit, so... I don't know if she was weird, but they were my sin. I mean, you guys fit me like shit when you, she was alive. Well, of course, she was a problem. Revering of Divine War. 
Echo is a divine harvest. Bring a divine war. Dandelion. Oop, oop. Fear the tomb king got enough, the dominator. Okay, so that was exactly what was we I was seeing from elsewhere with other stuff. You have been looking for deathly pale light like, switching your sun and like with you. But uh, I mean I was a mistake to come here. Let's make it towards us. Well the burn I think I will put roses on your cheeks. I uh, what? What where'd everybody go? Oh, I went around the wrong way. I was like... Joker of the Divine Harvest. A lot of these look like they're conjurer spec or healer spec. Phantom Soldiers. This was probably stuff I could have done it with, uh... Darn, uh, Mog Stones, too. Hey, I got those. Okay, well. Hey, I got a bunch of things. Yes, and root, 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 root. Love, but we can afford to compromise. Not where your new body is concerned. Ordinary avengers die out enough, leaving their ordinary corpses like Haro. We cannot sell for anything less than extraordinary. But strong is a strong, uh, equally strong soul. So we discovered now you are probably as strong souls as rare as they are. But never fear, if we can pray one ourselves, only the one that's slave we can kind need. We make it just a little longer, love, and all will be as you desire. Yeah, at that point, she's already started. Like, it's literally just his head. Not even his... His soul. Yeah, this is a very different part of this place. My body, help me! Ah! I mean, it's your soul, uh... Probably alive and strong, and they have uh, 
Now she's harvesting souls to just construct a super strong soul. Bare body, yep. Making him a new body and then a dual land style one. That's, you know. Just the head and eat the body. Yeah, I fucked up and... Oh, uh... Ow? Let's the tank take the hit. Yeah, I fucked up there too. I mean, it wasn't just us who we hey, the tank went down too. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay away from the gear, yeah. Times I wish I was playing a Black Mead instead. Since, you know. Ranged. I, it was just me, I would apologize, but apparently I, it was me and the other guy who screwed up. I mean, I actually have to follow this guy around a little bit. I'm a fucking mage. And I'm, not a I'm not a fucking mage or an archer, so... Fucking, uh, uh, I got up. up. But that means it's a lot easier for me to get caught up in his bullshit. I just have to be very careful and make sure I stay fucking behind him. Oh good, he's getting bigger. That's not sarcasm. It's a lot easier to stay properly fucking behind him. That his, uh... Shit is more clearly marked. Oop, 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 oop. I thought it was the right only one. Look, there was a, a clear, strong opportunity to get a bunch of fucking. damage in there. I took the hits and I was. the moment thing I was done, I, I started fucking failing. I patched the Divine Hero, Hearing to the Divine Light. Spare lung. I discarded I. Oh, that's just fucking horrifying. Much like she's spilling the soul, she's slowly but surely Frankensteining him a body. He need your eyes. What? Does he not have even his old eyes anymore? Anna? You think you'd have something reserved, some magic to preserve him instead of letting it, you know, rot. But...
Yeah, no, this place looks familiar. Let's go to the Can't even make out with this fucker. Oh, hey, it's another uh, squid face. A mind player. Which, hey, it's now perfectly okay to call him that. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, discount mind players. I've alone. Fly blown failure. Oh. a bunch of people's souls. Okay, yes, yeah, see, that is face. Okay. That is what it originally looked like. I was like, that looked a lot more like a human face than that other stuff did. Come here, all these people come to make you gifts of soul to kind of them. There's not showing you're winning. Your body means everything to bear. Well, we're winning this. This only can't begin without them. God damn it. Ah, god damn it. I was watching the cutscene, guys. There we go. Missing this house, love and cherish, blah blah blah. Yeah, partly that's my fault for not immediately teleporting fucking in there. I fucked up by uh, doing that. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. I had you in an insta. Yeah, I know. I fucked up. I thought you had died too. And now I'm stuck outside this. Just high end stupidity. Either, either they do this without their without one DPS. Or they end up going down. God, ah, I fucked up. I thought see, my problem is I thought they were all dead. I thought most of them dead and I went, okay. And I didn't process the healer was still up.
clear eternal calm. That's what you call on that game. Okay. Uh, that one actually gets at me enough that I want to redo this just because I feel how badly I fucked up. Yeah, I got carried for that, so I'm gonna do it again. What have you done up here? No! Damn train, CJ. Yeah, I got hard carried there. Uh, I feel bad. So I'm gonna be doing this one. Yeah, I fucked up bad. Okay. I will go ahead and just smack that thing again and do it again and so yeah and that is why it makes no sense to do, that you should be able to do the other thing before this because uh well yeah that's before she gets the eye patch before she transforms before his head has become that demony looking thing and not even what it was there when we beat it. And by the way, you, spare, you made him a body and it's still just a giant floating head. Really lost it. By the way, what, what, that it could have been different, but what choice did we have? Anyway, you had every choice not to treat your like shit while everything was good. I'm doing quite enough harm as it is. Oh, about my days and huh? <laughs> no, no, it can't be. One of my favorite fucking moments. And why this is so fucking burned into my memory. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that's the moment. Uh, one of my favorite fucking moments. That is the big reason this quest is burnt into my fucking memory. That genuinely unnerving fucking thing. When I was first saw it, I, both I and the person I was watching freaked a little bit. Just a little bit. It was unexpected. How else are we supposed to throw this? The sudden shift to actually really fucking good horror? And then, you know, it actually. Average item level, item level sink 110. <clears throat> My gear's not as good as it could be.
<clears throat> but yeah. Uh, given that horror show there, the idea that she's running around with an eye patch and shit is forward with the change of outfit and if air turned into that. Like, none of that makes sense as something you'd connect to Edda. And there's a reason why I had so much trouble fucking recognizing her, even though I knew that was Edda. I was like, what? I'm like, wait, yeah, what's that? Why I doubt myself so much? It was completely contextless. But yeah, real good shit. I'm like, what well, we could do? It's not really our fault. And then, right when he walks away, he sees that fucking horrifying apparition. Just quality kind of stuff. Quality stuff. Alright, okay, let's see. What do I not have? Quite a few things. What can I get, though? Oh! Skill speed. Ring of Divine War. I got that. What's that? Uh, strength, critical hit, direct hit rate. Ah. Pretty good shit, then. Yeah, let's get this up here so I can see stuff better. Boop. Robo the Divine Harvest. White Mage Scholar. Okay, so yeah, healer. All healer. Half of, okay, Divine Harvest is healer stuff, but let, let's see what that looks like at least. Oh! Really like the look of it. Gonna have to see about uh, stuffing the some of that gear elsewhere. It's not gonna be useful for me anytime soon, but honestly, casters are way later for me. Honestly, it's like. Healers are also just because I don't think out the ones I'm probably going to bounce off the most. I'm not really good at super duper paying attention to other people. <laughs> That's what hat caused that problem there. Uh, okay, there we go. We'll do this again. At least this time I don't have to get distracted trying to
Oh, you have to complete this doing, yeah. Oh god, I just realized the repeated shit in there. God damn it. I'll fix that. Afterwards. I pre-wrote that thing out and I somehow ended up... It doesn't help that you, you see how that thing fucking displays. Yeah, this quest is good shit. I really love the idea of this. It helps further drive home exactly what kind of adventure you are compared to the random dregs when one of these people, when you end up having to put it down, one of the very people you started adventuring alongside. And that's the, the uh, tragedy of, you know, this person who straight up even came to you. With their hopes and dreams and all that. He had to put down one. When raising the car, put down another. I mean, clearly, you're putting down all but one of these people. Ride spade, the best man. Okay, uh, oh, those are Thaumaturge. Okay, yeah, if I got those, uh, I think maybe I don't have those. Uh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, wait, whoop. That was like almost, uh, there's elections following me. Oh, man. Whoop, whoop. Ah, that little bit inc increased level seems to help me a little bit. Oh, 
Marauder, so. And war, so. Spare will. Discarded body. Always with the tank lead, early with the tank lead, da, 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 da. No, that, that error is really bothering that too. My brain keeps circling the train of I need to fix that, 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 I need to fix that. That shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boop, 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 boop. Taken out. Uh, you're done, I think. We all died. I went down at the same time everybody freaking else. And I'm lucky there's something there that makes it so if one of us goes, we all drop. Which there might be. I this is my only second time doing this.
Because they're in a different bat now. Why are we dead? I don't know why we died. Supposed to eat orbs, apparently. Let's find out. That face. Oh, okay. He died. Okay. We're supposed to keep him alive. Okay. That explains the fucking lot. I was, I was like, wait, did one of us die and then take all of that? No, no. It was Okay, he died. Uh... Tank, buddy, keep the fucker away from that guy because he, he kills him quick, quickly. Keep on. It bothers me so much. Uh. Oop, almost ran ahead. Oh god. Let me fucking tie that up. Oh, okay. Oh, now I know how this works. Yeah, once you once you know what you're doing, you understand the mechanics that you're working with. Ah, uh -huh, I had jest.
Take care of that. Come on, come on. There we go. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Ugh. All right, now I can actually have a pro I can actually properly fight this there. It's right here to have it. Yeah, and a pure heart. It's a full name real here and, and a death de de blow. Or black blow. Whatever that thing is there, it's very disconnected from uh, who he used to be. Almost there. You know what? Why? This close. Why wait? Boom. Just use it to get in the DPS and you take it out real quick. Divine Light. Archer Bard. Yeah, I got a clear accommodation. Yeah, I, I was not going to get it one last time. Uh, Yeah, hold on a photo. Thank you, folks.
get the, the crash. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's your big shit. Uh, I'm going to just finish the night off with a round of a single thing. Take a moment. There we go. It's a good quest line. I like it. Uh, ah, yeah, I got a bunch of... Bits. Huh. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Catchy tune, but I ain't doing it. Listen to it. Use your macros. God. How did I fucking... I just text commands, huh? Gonna go dump my uh This is useless. Always will has been always will be. See if I got anything else to add to this. Hey! Ring of Divine War. So the Divine Light. Ring to Divine Light. Boop. Now I got some valuable stuff to feed the, uh... Keep back in the, uh... At uh, Millstorm Command. Chit 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 chit
Okay, everything can fucking attack me for like five seconds. Yes, please, thank you. Oh, man, that was a rough start. This Oop. Hold on folks, sorry I need to Think about that. Uh, yeah, well, that's actually not going to be a problem with how I'll leave it. I'll save fortune for this on their hand, I can hit up sooner. So I think. I figure if I can get squeezed in a few more uh, H pulls and when I, tomorrow when I do uh, 40 to whatever, or to 50. I didn't think 40 to 5. Point is, I have a better shot. So once I get a class 70, I am absolutely going to go all in on grinding a bunch of uh, tombstones to get all that gear I've been sitting on. Um, I feel like I need to go get, make more glamour for them. Pretty sure I'm out. From wasting them. The boots.
Yeah, let's just keep you on it. Yeah, I might have to pull early, guys. But it would just be me playing for this. Uh, again. Absolutely sure I can at least beat what I'm dealing with here. So. How far away am I from 50? Pretty far. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. So I'm definitely going to have to end early, guys. Sorry. Uh, this is a pretty sign out. I will see you all next time, folks.